are we getting on folks uh look at between fairy house and um cheltenham it turned out to be a fairly decent day i just want to get up the meeting itself so we can find where we're looking for yeah um fairy house look at it, it didn't necessarily go as as much to plan as we'd like uh size and potsy winning at seven to two and then look at we we tipped it up as a no bet but brandy love uh sluiced up in the in the bumper then moving on then to cheltenham then you you had the likes of adagio uh at 11 to 10 won uh the patron tip of chatham street lad won at 16 to 1 make good tipped up at 7 to 1 for an each way bet drifted out to 12 to 1 and won um and Eglantine Desai tipped up at eight to one for an each way bet. It uh was backed to the boards but just couldn't get its head in front. But so overall, look at you you'd have made money uh over the two meetings anyway. Uh moving on then to tomorrow, Nace is a bit sort of hit and miss. I'm not really sure what to make of it. There does definitely look to be some great value there, and uh overall it certainly looks to be a nice sort of a a day for the punting perspective. Uh, 1225 is the first patron tip of the day. So we're not going to cover that. The 1255 then we are going to go with Del Vino here at 5-1 to one as an each way shout. For me personally speaking this particular mare. She she has everything going for her. She looks like a classy sort. She definitely will be loving the, the softer ground. Uh, coming from Dermot and Lachlan's I think it is. Uh, she's definitely just one for the, the notebook basically coming into the winter she should definitely be winning a few races coming into this term and I, I think overall it should be a very very hard hard mare to stop basically there there is a good few decent mares in here but I just I think Del Vino definitely is the class act and at five to one she is the best value there uh, moving on into the next race <coughs> Uh, the 125 I'm going to go with pictures of home for Ted Walsh Jack Kennedy and I'm not actually sure who owns it but the current price is in around 8 to 1 for an each way shout this one here certainly looks very very interesting Uh, it was I think it was what it was I'm not 100% sure now but I know it is dropping down in, in trip or not not in trip down in class Uh, with Jack Kennedy uh, being a significant jockey booking for tomorrow, you rarely ever see Jack Kennedy riding for Ted. It should be a decent enough prospect, more so than anything else. Uh, and hopefully, it should be more one of the more likelier ones coming into this particular race. It's not necessarily the hardest race. Uh, it is certainly a, a a tough old race to call though. But um, pictures of home should be able to put the class into good use and should be able to come in for a nice little each way shout uh, moving on into the 2 o'clock then is another patron tip uh, we can't really discuss it on say for the free tips here but the twelve or the 2.30 uh, is the nap of the day for me in the free tips Lord Royal at 6 to 4 providing it gets its, its jumping into gear it should be very very hard to stop uh, I definitely think, look at, he, he is an interesting sort and he definitely looks like a, a chaser in the make and he should be well capable of handling this ground. It looked like he was going to go on and win fairly comfortably the last day in Turles before falling two from home. But I think overall, Barr, I suppose, that fall didn't leave a, a lasting remark on him. It should be He should be a very, very hard horse to stop. Uh, moving on then to... What we, what are we on now? The three oh five. I am actually going to go with uh, Miller's horse here, uh, for Aileen O'Sullivan. Uh, American Image at ten to one at an each way of shows is definitely a very interesting sort. I think overall, you put it all into perspective, it is one of the more classier horses in the race. I know it's gone up. I think four pounds since, but it should be a tough nut to crack. Aileen definitely likes to get on with this particular horse and. Nace definitely should suit this particular style of racing for American Image. And I definitely think, look, she has a, a serious, serious chance on the back of this particular horse. And I want to wish Aileen the very best of luck. I know she's a, a fan of the page and she follows the page and everything else like that. Um, But I definitely think she has a, a, a good one now tomorrow. And 10 to 1 definitely looks to be a nice sort of an each way shout. 
Uh, moving on into the last race of the day, the 335. We are going to go with the next best of the day. T3 or take 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 T uh at eleven to ten is definitely an interesting one. Look at it, it, it goes without saying. Uh coming from the Willie Mullins yard is definitely a very very much an interesting sort and uh, in, in terms of bumpers and different things like that. But this particular horse is well well bred. It's it's out of a I think it's out of a grade one winning mare or a, or a half sister of a grade one winning mare. Uh, so that's definitely very, very interesting overall. I think it should be w well capable of taking the beat. And I, I definitely think there, there, there is going to be a, a, a clear cut winner here. And I definitely think take, take T is going to be the one to do it. Uh, it's, it's very, very hard to see it and come out of the pack to, to try and even trouble it, providing it does live up to the bloodline and live up to expectations I can't see this horse being beaten tomorrow. And eleven to eight, eleven to eight is definitely look at it, you're you're going to be more than doubling your money anyway at the at the very least. So I'd be taking it on board now and getting on board as soon as I can. Uh, that's all I have for tomorrow. There's one in, I think it might be air tomorrow for Dennis Hogan. I see Dennis Hogan is coming out of retirement. Uh, that's a very very interesting shout. Uh. I think it's trading around four to one at the minute. Now look at what whatever race it is, I'm not hundred percent sure. I know it's over in England. I'm I'm nearly certain it's in air. Uh I could be wrong. If I am wrong, I will comment underneath uh to let you all know what race it 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 is in particular, but uh, I'm nearly sure it's over in air and it's it's it, it's trained by himself and he he's coming out of retirement to ride it. Uh so it's definitely well worth considering anyway, more so than anything else. Uh, the fact that he's bypassing air tomorrow it certainly speaks volumes. I think uh, if it was a sort of a no hope or he'd, he'd just go to Nace and just come home the same day. But the fact that he is coming over in conditions like this and in times in times like this and everything else like that, it's certainly it's certainly one for the books. I, I definitely think that anyway. But um, yeah, moving on then to, I suppose, everything else, the patron... Uh, we are 33 points in profit, say, from the week gone by uh, for a one pound or a one pint level stake. So to put things into perspective, if you had a tenner singly on every tip that went up on the, the patron account, you'd be up 330 euros. So that's the way we look at it. Um, We're well over the, the 50 point mark now, I think. Uh, overall, it's definitely a very, very interesting Interesting, I suppose, how would you say, ways and means about going about trying to, to better the profit. It's only for a tenner a month, so we can almost guarantee by the end of the week after signing up that you will be you will be in profit and you will be, I suppose, back in the money more so than anything else. That's the way we roll and that's the way we, we go about things. But <clears throat> I leave a link in the description below for those who want to uh say get on board and start following us. Um it it's to support the Irish race and our on the hour podcast. But I think overall it, it's definitely well worth getting on board and well worth the money. Uh the followers that have come on since have definitely been very, very happy with the service and I, I am greatly appreciative of the support we've got gotten so far. But we could do, I suppose, with a bit more going on into the future and going on to further endeavours to, to try and build the the, the Irish race and corner more, more so than anything else and to try and, say, some way down the line to, to start up our own racing club. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, please make sure to keep liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, that really helps me out at the end of the day. Uh, I think overall i nearly blew in the face from telling you all but there's still i think 40 percent of people looking at these videos that hasn't, hasn't subscribed already so until we shorten that uh percentage figure down a, a good bit i'm gonna keep being blue in the face from saying it because it, it really does help me out and it only takes a second of your time uh but i'm gonna leave it there if you're gonna be having a bet tomorrow the very best of luck and um yeah, please make sure to keep liking, sharing, subscribing. Thanks very much.